this tree right here actually looks really healthy but when you come down to the bottom section you notice there's some odd bark peeling off the customer wanted to know what was going on with their tree you see that the bark peeling off has exposed the heartwood and this section right here is actually reaction wood denser wood that the tree forms in order to help support the weight of the tree keep growing and it's less susceptible to fungus bacteria and even insects now from this section over here all the way to this section is what I would consider dead tissue unfortunately this adjacent side over here you see another area of rapid growth or reaction wood so my suspicion is that from that section there to this section here there's a potential of losing all of this live tissue so what's going on with this first thing we suspected was some kind of an injury um, but upon further analysis we know even though the canopy doesn't appear to be showing any signs of um, major issues there's probably something going on down in the soil so what we've looked at here is an area at the base where there's like a false root flare this is a bark ridge so a bark ridge is created when two things join together a union you see it typically on branches and they're called branch bark ridges in this case it's on the main stem of the trunk so we suspect there might be a girdling root dun 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 pretty common problem we did some minor excavation and we found this little pine root and i know that's not the issue but i do believe that this right here from the bark ridge down to some point is all root tissue where these trees were planted and they encircled the pot and now they're strangling the tree so i'm gonna do a little excavation and we'll take another look at it This is the same flare that we were looking at before. And you can see it looks like it goes all the way around to that side. Now you can still see the trunk flare here. And I'm thinking that some of these trunk flares are actually um, sinker roots coming off of the main root that's girdling this trunk. Hard to determine that without really removing the tree and doing some cross sections. But uh, at this phase in this tree's life, there's not a whole lot we can do to try to preserve this tree because it's so far gone. And the roots that we're talking about here are so major, there's just no way you could remove anything from this and be precise enough to know that you're cutting the exact root and not further damaging the tree. So unfortunately, this is one of those deals where we're just gonna have to kind of watch it over time and uh, watch it decline. It's just the way it is. They don't all make it. Even if we can't save this tree, the knowledge from this video can help save hundreds of thousands of other trees. So please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, consider subscribing to my other channel, The Great Outdoors, where we focus on preserving and maintaining our ecosystems and presenting you some of the most epic wildlife ever. This is the outro to my other channel. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission. All about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction. So many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. Put native trees and flowers in it. Bees, Bees and butterflies, butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. It's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. 
I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation. Because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it. Which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is. Because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference.